I mean, after all, we're moving to land that was purchased by Mr. Jefferson as part of the Louisiana Purchase in Missouri. When I say great adventure, I'm not talking about this party necessarily, but, <laughs> but that too. So my big hope is they have internet there. Does anybody know? <laughs> no? Do you know, George? No. <laughs> um, so you probably know when we moved here, we moved from Indianapolis, home of David Letterman. And we've been here seven years, which is not really very long compared to most of you. But what we've done is we put together our top seven list, the top seven things that we've learned while we've been here at the University of Virginia. And this list includes at least three stories, maybe more, okay? So, so bear with me. So first, the, the number seven thing, and this is something I learned early on, any talk, any presentation, anything here at the university has to reference Mr. Jefferson. So here's what Mr. Jefferson wrote three days before he retired from his job as President of the United States in 1808. Within a few days, I retired to my family, my books, and my farms. And this is the part where he's foreshadowing semester at sea. <laughs> and having gained the harbor, my sh myself, I shall look on my friends who are still buffeting the storm, that would be all of you. <laughs> With anxiety indeed, but not with envy. <laughs> so that was Mr. Jefferson. Um, number six, you will always see someone from the library if you go to lunch at the corner. <laughs> now, I see a lot of heads nodding. Here's the first story. Seven years ago today was our first day at the university. Mary and I started July 25th, 2007. So I came into work, and uh, Donna Tolson was my supervisor. Donna's here somewhere. There's Donna. And uh, Mary came into work that day, and she's working with Barbie. And so mid-morning, Mary and I uh, had a chat. I said, how's it going? And she said, oh, it's great. I love working with Barbie. She's already arranged for us to go to lunch today at some place called The Corner. <laughs> I said, well, that's weird, because Donna said that we're going to go to lunch at The Corner. <laughs> So this part wasn't planned at all, but an hour and a half later, the four of us are sitting next to each other at the tables at the same restaurant. <laughs> so on our very first day, we learned that truism. You will always see somebody you know when you go to lunch at the corner. Um, okay, library, this is number five. Libraries have always just completed or just started taking a look at how they might reorganize. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this will be a treat. Um, number four, Warner always has a story to tell. <laughs> Warner, do you have a story to tell? <laughs> I told this story the other night, and um, most of you know that Mary knows everybody. <laughs> yeah, so she's the only one in this room that can go around and name the name of everybody in this room. Go ahead, Mary. <laughs> oh, we don't have time for that. Okay. You know, so just to give an example, she goes on semester at sea, and you know, who else calls Archbishop Desmond Tutu? Hey, Arch. <laughs> When uh, President Obama came to the university and spoke, and he says, you know, this great world thinks of people like Mary Johnston. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, the graduation this year, that football player, what's his name? Peyton. Peyton, yeah, I told him she knows Peyton. Uh, you know, Peyton was speaking, and he says, this is a great university, thinks of people like Mary Johnston. <laughs> there are football out there for me. Um, so, a few weeks ago, um, when, when Ann um, Houston left, we went out for drinks after work, and Mary got a little bit loose that night. <laughs> and then I said to her, I said, so you know everybody, don't you? And she says, well, as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> and I said, really? I said, you know the Pope? She says, well, I knew him before he was the Pope. <laughs> We had met on our travels. And I said, I don't believe you. So Mary and I 
took a trip to the Vatican, and she was going to prove to me that she knew the Pope. So we got to the Vatican, and we're, we go up to, to the Vatican and uh, say, we'd like to see the Pope, and they said, well, I'm sorry he'll only give an audience to one person at a time. So we thought about it, and Mary says, well, I'll go in, and you stand out here in the plaza and eat some gelato, and we'll go up, and I'll get him to come out on the balcony, and he'll wave to you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm on my third gelato, you know. And I look up on the balcony there, and the door's open, and out comes Mary and the Pope. <laughs> or was it? You know, because Mary, you know, She's not beyond getting some guy who's wearing a robe to come up and say, come on, you're waiting. <laughs> so, so I turned to the gelato salesman there and I said, is that the Pope up there? He says, I don't know, but that's Mary Johnson. <laughs> have had any association whatsoever with Semester at Sea. Do you know somebody who went on Semester at Sea? You've been on Semester at Sea? Mary's taking pictures right now. <laughs> okay, so it's, a, it's had a, a broad impact, I'd say, across, uh, across this group. So number three, what we've learned here at UVA. What goes on Semester at Sea stays on Semester at Sea. <laughs> And the alternative to that is, once you go on semester at sea, you never come all the way back. <laughs> um, number two, when the New York Times publishes your life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness map, Oprah's people call your people. <laughs> and the number one thing we've learned in our seven years here at, the, at UVA is another story. It's the last story. So 30 years ago, Mary and I met. We were working as computer programmers, software developers in the private sector. And the pay was pretty good, and we had uh, a good time. We were uh, working with great people, doing cool things. And one day, Mary came into work, and uh, this, by this time, we were, we were kind of a couple. And she said, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be great to be in a library? <laughs> That's where all the money's got to be, right? <laughs> I said, that's a great idea. <laughs> Let's make that happen. So we made that happen. And what we found is, and this is our number one thing we've learned, is UVA library people are our people. We, we are in the right place here. And it's a really hard thing for us to think about pulling up roots and leaving after only seven years. But we're going to do it. And we are just incredibly thankful to all of you for your part in, in this experience. It's really been our great good fortune to be associated with the University of Virginia and to share each with each of you that experience. That's really been the highlight for us. So we thank each of you for being here today. We thank each of you for all the cool things that we've done with you and the experiences we've had along the way. And I say, let the adventure begin. <laughs> Here for Mary. There's a book. Let's go to the game. Let's go to the game.